Welcome to a stormy Saturday night, y'all. We had a thunderstorm a little while ago. Sounds like we're getting another one out there. Oh, we also have Boots down here. He's making a lot of racket. What's he been up to up there? He was driving down the stairs because he wanted to go to the hotel. Oh, y'all playing hotel? Oh, we've got coffee at this hotel. Hey, Mama. Hey. I'm back in the hotel. You're back? Yeah. Are you gonna have milk in yours? Yeah. It says it's only for kids, oh, not okay. big boys. Not big boys? I'm a big boy now. I You're do big? not want a straw. He does not want a straw, okay. Wow. This is my hotel. Anyway, right now, we're about to make a pumpkin cheesecake. We're singing at a church in the morning, and it's their, I can't remember if it's their homecoming. I think it's their homecoming, I'm pretty sure. It's either homecoming or pastor appreciation day. We have some of Sissy's cupcakes left, and I'm gonna make this pumpkin cheesecake. They told us we don't have to bring anything, of course, because we're gonna be the ones singing and all, but I always feel bad because there's a lot of us. I feel bad not to bring anything, so we're gonna bring this, and like I said, Sissy has some of her cupcakes left. She wants to bring those. So this is really easy. The cheesecake itself is a no-bake, but we need to bake our pie shell, so I'm gonna put it in the oven while we make the filling. All right, so for the filling, we're gonna start by just whipping up this heavy cream. I'm gonna put in about two cups. I think that was almost a cup left in that carton. It's about a cup. So I'm gonna start whipping this, and I'll add in a little bit of sugar, and then we'll test it and see if we need to add a little more. I need to get my whisk attachment. And I'm gonna put in a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, so we put the sugar in. I'm gonna put a teaspoon of vanilla and about a fourth of a cup of this canned pumpkin. It's not pumpkin pie filling, it's just pumpkin. And we're gonna put a half a block of softened cream cheese. Vanilla, pumpkin. The last thing we have to put in is half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. So I'm gonna let this start mixing up and we'll add that in as it's mixing. Got another thunderstorm out there. We're gonna taste it and see if we need any more sugar in there. That's it, y'all. That's perfect. It's not too sweet. There's just a little bit of pumpkin, and it's really just kind of light and fluffy because it's mostly the whipped cream, not a lot of cream cheese. If you want it more cream cheesy, you can just, you know, put a whole block in there. That's it. When the crust is done and cools down, we'll just put this in there, cover it with some plastic wrap, and it's going in the refrigerator, ready to go. If we didn't have to bake the crust, it would be like a five minute pumpkin cheesecake. <laughs> and you can adjust the amount of sugar you put. If you want it sweeter, add a little more sugar. It's just like those no-bake uh, cherry pies and all that that we do, where you just do the basic cream cheese, whipped cream. We normally use Cool Whip for those. Homemade whipped cream, though, is, it's always better. <laughs> but it's just the cream cheese, whipped cream, sugar, and that's just the basic recipe. Maybe a little vanilla, then you can put whatever kind of pie filling on top. Cherry, blueberry, strawberry. It's also the way we make the peanut butter one, but like instead of using pumpkin, pumpkin pie spice, we would have just put peanut butter in here. It's wonderful. All right, now we just wait on the pie crust. So I just looked at the weather because it's, you know, pretty crazy out there. And it said heavy and torrential downpours at times. That the torrential one is happening right now. back from the horse sale. Titus taste tested this for me. Tell them what you think about I it. I think it's delicious. It's really light and fluffy. Yeah, it's got a good feel to it. Uh, it wouldn't be hard to eat a big piece I'm of calling it. it a whipped pumpkin cheesecake. I like it. Because yeah. it's, it's more whipped cream than cream cheese, but there is a little cream cheese in there. Yeah. We just got back from the horse sale, like I said, and we've been 
I've heard so many tall tales over there tonight that I mm -hmm. just really, it's time for me to go rest <laughs> and try to forget everything I've heard. <laughs> oh, I gotta cover this with some plastic wrap. Them horse traders are bad about telling a few stories. Fish, fish, and hot dogs for those who don't want fish. We're gonna be doing some salmon. Grown up thinks that T Rex is going to eat my arm and my legs. Oh my that goodness! That T Rex ain't gonna get you, boy. He looks pretty mean. What I'm gonna do is start with the salmon. Okay. Let's see what happens. 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 This has a little bit of a coconut taste. I found some new chili to try for the hot dogs. Okay. We're gonna need some garlic and a little pot here. This is gonna be a really different kind of uh, way to make this salmon. There won't be any beets involved. No beets, no beets. Now we're gonna do a little ginger. Uh, not much, but just a little bit of ginger with this. I think this little pan will be good enough for that. What are you making chili? Well, I'm not. I'm just that more on the end. Oh, chili. for the hot dog. Yeah, for the hot dog. Oh, yeah. I was kind of thinking. Uh, <laughs> I was. I was thinking you were talking about like uh, chili, 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 chili. Yeah, <laughs> not just chili, chili, chili. <laughs> the kids are playing in the background. Oh, uh -huh. my T-Rexes are eating. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna put in a little bit of ginger, and I like it to be really fine like this right here. This is gonna put enough flavor. To what we're doing and not overpower it but give it a little bit of a just a little bit of a bite okay now i've got a little bit of smoked paprika here that i'm going in with about that much is enough i got a little bit of old bay going in do this to taste however much you feel like you would like a little bit of black pepper a little bit of salt Y'all, the church that we were at this morning, told y'all they were having eaten. It's the church with the delicious strawberry stuff. I am fixing to get me some, uh, a little bit of garlic. And uh, basically you can you know, just imagine what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna mince it. <laughs> <laughs> I figured out what she's doing a little different than what I did. Okay, so it's an angel food cake. I'm pretty sure there's whipped cream involved, strawberry jello, and it's the strawberry glaze. Did I do that when I made it? It's, you know those strawberries that you I get in the red glaze? I wish I could tell you I re really remember this dish, but I... I, I wish I would've, I wish I would've showed y'all when we were there. It's amazing, it's delicious. Yeah, they got a lot of delicious food at that church. Mm -hmm, that church can cook. They got a lot of older women. Grandmas know what they are doing. No microwave stuff. <laughs> we're just gonna chop up this garlic real good and put it in. Now, we're gonna put that on the fish as we're cooking it. You'd be surprised that a little bit of coconut oil gives that a slight different taste. It smells really good. Garlic makes a difference in something. Garlic makes a difference in <laughs> something. You know what, I may write a number one song with Right this. when you put that garlic in there, it's... It will make your house smell great. I'm gonna do a little bit of asparagus for you tonight. I love when something just kinda don't fit. <laughs> we're gonna let her go, everybody. And we're gonna come in here with some olive oil. We're gonna go ahead and squeeze a little bit of lemon on there. A little bit of salt and pepper. And put just a little bit of salt and pepper on it. We will squeeze a little bit of lemon. And we're gonna pour just a little bit of our mixture in here. See a little bit of lemon seed there. I'm not worried about something like that. Let's go smoke it.
that's really delicious. Again, everything you do, do it to taste. That's really good. You got another surprise? He keeps bringing me surprises down here. Okay. What's this one? It's about me and it has a word on me. Okay, it has a word on you? Yeah. Okay. It's named, huh? We're trying to find it. See, there's my word. That's your word? These are my spelling words. Oh, cat and dog, that's your spelling words? No, this is dog and this is cat and this is Mandy. Oh, okay. Is Sissy giving you schoolwork? Is she being the teacher? Yeah.